We are getting word that a prominent Chinese activist has slipped out of his home where he was being held under house arrest. A friend of Chen Guangcheng says the blind activist made his way to Beijing undetected. Stan Grant joins us live now from our Beijing bureau with the very latest on all these developments. So Stan, what are you learning on this? An extraordinary story, Rosemary, that continues to grow even as I speak. Chen Guangcheng is an activist here, a blind activist, who made his name as a self-taught lawyer. He defended the rights of women who were making allegations of being forced into abortion. That earned the ire of the Chinese authorities. They cracked down on him. Ultimately, he was jailed for four years after organizing protests. He was jailed on a charge of disrupting traffic. He, of course, denies that. He was released about 18 months ago, and since then, Despite technically being a free man, he's been held under house arrest. When we've tried to visit him before, we've been physically accosted outside the village. Punches thrown at us, our camera equipment has been damaged and we've been run off the area. Well, now we've been hearing that he, he uh, escaped his village only a matter of days ago. And he was met at a rendezvous point, a secret meeting point outside the village by friends. One of those friends, Her Pei Rong, uh, is a woman we spoke to just this morning, she described the whole process and how they brought him here to Beijing. His whereabouts at the moment are unknown. And Her Pei Rong, the woman that we spoke to, has also now been arrested. This is what she had to say before she was taken into custody to us. I'm not concerned about my own safety. I hope they'll arrest me, not my friends. When Chen told me he wants to stay in China, I told myself I'll be willing to stand by him no matter what happens next. Chen also said as long as he's not free, no other Chinese will feel safe. So I'm not leaving and I'm not worried. I just hope he's safe and well. Now that was her Pei Rong, the woman who helped to orchestrate the getaway, the escape of Chen Guangcheng, this blind activist. She now has also vanished, been taken into custody. Chen Guangcheng is someone who has become a real cause celeb throughout the world. Activists have been supporting his cause. You may recall that the actor Christian Bale, when he was here promoting a film, also tried to meet Chen Guangcheng. He was also physically chased away from the village where Chen was living. And he'll Hillary Clinton, the Secretary of State, has raised his case with the Chinese before. She is going to be arriving in Beijing this week. This comes at a very, very crucial time. Rosemary? And Stan, of course, you have been covering this story and been there pretty much along the, the whole time. How surprised were you that he was able to pull this off, given the security that's there? Very surprised. Uh, also, the fact that he has not been in good health. We know from activists over the past few months that his health has not been great. He's been denied, according to the activists, denied medicine, de denied the right to visit a hospital or get treatment. Whenever you go there, there is a very, very heavy security presence outside the village and they have not been shy about physically chasing us off. We've been punched. Our equipment has been damaged in the past. We've been involved in high-speed car chases through the area just so that they can drive us away from there. Uh, police have been surrounding his house. He's been kept under 24-hour watch. But what he apparently has been doing in the past few months, Rosemary, is spending more and more time on his bed pretending to be asleep, lulling the security forces, the police, into a false sense of security. They were getting used to his long absences. In that way, he was able to then make his final escape, get away from the house, meet the others at a secret rendezvous point, and then be brought here to Beijing. We understand he is still here at Beijing. There have been all sorts of reports and Twitter and in various social blogging sites and also in other media, some reports suggesting he's even trying to seek asylum at the United States Embassy. We've tried to contact the Embassy in recent hours and have not been able to get any response at all. No one even answering their phones. But certainly a story which is potentially hugely embarrassing for the Chinese. Someone who has an international profile and an extraordinary escape and really, really going to bring this whole story to a head as Hillary Clinton prepares to arrive here next week.